We're talking about a pretty serious issue. I mean, we had this huge ruling today. Uh, your reaction to the decision that we saw from the Supreme Court and, and the timing of it with all of this gun rights stuff going on right now? I think it's great that the Supreme Court issued this decision today. I signed on to the amicus brief in support of uh, this case. The New York State Rifle and Pistol Association brought this suit challenging New York's concealed carry law, uh, which clearly was unconstitutional. You would have to prove to the government your worth. You have people who are in government in Albany who feel like they can just give you and take away your rights at will, and you would uh, be required to prove to them that you're worthy of being able to safely and securely carry a firearm, even if you're a law-abiding citizen and you're looking to do it just for your own self-defense, for the protection of yourself, your family, and your loved ones. So uh, it's a great ruling. It has uh, implications, I think, in other states and, as well. Yeah. Uh, New York, with the strongest gun control legislation laws in the country, I think we should go further with more. Um, I mean, and, and let me just ask you something real quick, because this is something that confuses me. I mean, in, in New York, I know it's tricky with guns everywhere. I, I've tried to get a, a permit, you know, out my house is outside the city. I know it's tricky anywhere and they make you wait a long time. In New York City, it's, it's impossible. If you're in one of the five boroughs of New York City, everybody knows there's just no way you're getting a gun. The mayor of New York City saying that this changes nothing uh, on their end. Is that even plausible? I mean, are, are they just are they trying to say that they're just going to ignore the Supreme Court? Yeah, here's the problem with that, and I would expect that we're going to see other elected officials and bureaucrats say the same thing, but if you challenge that as a law-abiding citizen, yeah. the, the law, the Constitution, is now clearly on your side with today's decision. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's hard, no way to enforce it. Right, exactly. Yeah, and I'm very curious to see how, I mean, because they don't have any of the infrastructure to even permit guns right now. So it's going to be very curious to see how they go about putting this all together. It's going to be really interesting. Immediately after the decision, New York's current governor, uh, Kathy Hochul, floating uh, a special session to pass more gun laws. Um, so again, they, they just, they don't seem to have much respect for any of this. Oh, and you're referring to the A-rated NRA endorsed member of Congress, Kathy Hochul, formally, <laughs> but just like we saw with Kirsten Gillibrand, they were supposedly Jeez. moderates who were supported by the NRA as members of Congress. But then when you have to run statewide, you're yeah. worried about a primary to your left flank. All of a sudden you become Jane Fonda. Exactly. Uh, they just passed all sorts of bills in Albany to enact uh, all sorts of newer strings post right. the Buffalo shooting. So I don't know what, to, you know what shelves they're looking to pull new bills off of. And there was a good reason why many of those bills that just passed didn't pass when they were previously proposed. And here's Mitch McConnell. Uh, take a listen to this. You know, there are Republicans that are supporting this uh, new gun restriction law that they're, they're going to probably try and push through. Take a listen. OK, we don't have it, but I, uh, let's just talk for a second here. You, you've had a number. You've had John Corn and Mitch McConnell, I think 14 Republicans uh, with full support for more gun control at the same time as the Supreme Court makes this decision. That's a fracture in the Republican Party. How concerning is that to you? And what are, what are your thoughts on this bill? Obviously, they want to push money into red flag laws. Um, they want to do mental health. They want to restrict people that are under 21 from buying guns. I think I'm that's- I'm not going to be voting for th it. That's, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, when it comes up for a vote in the House, I'm not going to be voting for it. Uh, yeah. I, I don't support what's coming out. And I, I also think, you know, once you allow somebody like a Jerry Nadler uh, to be able to get his hands on it, uh, this bill could be even worse as the House is figuring out how to pass it. Uh, so we'll, we'll see what comes over and how the House yeah. vote plays out and the process plays out. But this could actually get worse. It could get worse. It's interesting. All right. Congressman Lee Zeldin running for governor of New York. Boy, do we need somebody like you in charge. We thank you so much for the time. We appreciate it. Thank you, sir.